Hello, I'm Princess Serena, not Princess Serena, and today I'm doing a pin tag that I've been tagged in over two and a half months ago. Princess Serena. Not Princess Serena. We are tagging you. By Laura and Ryan at Disney.pin.love. I always wanted to do that. And if you don't know what I'm referencing, what are you doing? You should go subscribe to Disney Pin Love. They have pins, plushies, postage, so many peas I cannot even keep up. So they tagged me in the rescuers pin tag which was created by another YouTuber that doesn't focus on the P's but the C's because their channel is called Castles, Capes, and Clones. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first pin prompt is who will rescue me? Show me a pin of somebody in need of rescue or who needs help. I will raise you one and give you two characters who might need a little bit of assistance here being chased by a shark. Although we know that Dory and Marlin are definitely capable of getting out of any kerfuffle that they're in. And this pin is actually from the best animated feature series. I don't know if it's really considered a series, but whenever a movie wins an Academy Award, they make a pin to commemorate it with the poster and then they have the envelope, which I find really, really cool. It's a Hollywood Studio Store pin and it's an LE 400. The next prompt is Rescue Aid Society. Show a pin of a hero. So, oh my God. <laughs> oh my gosh, one sec. I think he had to go on a mission. The pin survived, of course, because he's Perry. He's a Sammy Aquatic. He's a secret agent and he saves the tri state area a handful of times, so he's definitely a hero. And I love this one. The turquoise accents on the silver are so sparkly and I love it that it matches him, but yet he's still able to like pop on the pin. Well, he definitely popped onto my floor. The journey show a pin of a trip or a destination. I had a couple choices with this, but I had to go with the vacation of all vacations when you're a pin collector Disney World. Um, um, I actually got this pin on my first trip. It wasn't one that I traded for or anything, so it's really special. I went in 2010, and I thought this one was perfect just because, you know, you kind of have to get a pin of all four parks, but this way you don't have to because it has all four represented here. The Sorcerer's Hat, which used to be the logo of Hollywood Studios, the Tree of Life, Cinderella's Castle, and Spaceship Earth. And then you just have Mickey like jazz hands and please come again. Make a wish for each sad little tear. Show a pin of somebody sad. I didn't even think twice about this pin prompt. I picked Wally just because he is so sad when Eve gets the plant and then she kind of shuts down. And then the pin opens to the scene of him putting an umbrella over her just in case, you know, she's cold even though she's obviously off and he looks so sad, just his facial expression. He's sad, but he hasn't lost hope. And also for a sad pin, how appropriate that it's raining. And this pin actually matches my shirt over here with the Lexo ball and it's limited edition of 750. Tomorrow is another day. Show a pin showing time. I believe this pin is the only pin I have that shows time. I'm trying to show different movies and characters just to make the pin tag more fun, but um, this one and the previous one was just perfect for the prompt, so I couldn't. And plus, you know, Wally is my favorite Disney movie, so you know, have to represent that in the tag. Um, but yeah, this one is of New Year's and it says 12 a.m. on it. And it's actually a WDI, my first and only one so far, and it's limited edition of a 250. Albatross Flight 13 to Tower. Albatross 13! Show a pin of something that flies. It's roly poly oly. I have the theme song in my head. And he's on an airplane. Look at the spring element, it's so cute. And there's one other roly-poly pin in existence, which I have as well. So I am happy to report I am a roly-poly completist. Roly-poly doesn't even sound like a word anymore. So let's move on. He's just a grumpy old lion. Show a pin of somebody grumpy or angry. And considering I have a pin of the character grumpy and the character anger, I had pretty spot on choices to choose from. But I had to ultimately go with anger. He is literally so angry 
that he's popping the popcorn with his fuming anger. And it's a Hong Kong Disneyland pin. It just makes me think of the scene where disgust plays into his ego and makes him so angry that he breaks the glass so then joy and sadness could come back into headquarters. This movie follows Wally in my ranking of Pixar films, but like the whole movie is great. But the B plot with anger and disgust and fear, like cannot be overlooked. It is comedy gold. But two little mice, what can you do? Show a pin of something small because there's two mice in this prompt. So I went with two bugs from A Bug's Life and you got Flick and Heimlich and they're literally, this is my favorite Bug's Life pin that's ever been made probably. <laughs> because it's literally Flick holding marshmallows as if they're weights and then Heimlich's just eating it. Like it's literally amazing. And then it's on a bottle cap. And it's part of a four pin set and it's Ellie 1000. Charge! Show a pin of something that you're excited about. I'm always excited about pin trading, of course, but more specifically at Disneyland or Disney World, I went to the parks last in February, 2020. My goal is to at least go once during the 50th anniversary celebration. So I have another 17 months, so I think we'll be okay, but you never know. I'm also really looking forward to hopefully going to my first US pin trading event because I see those videos on YouTube all the time and they just look so epic and I love this because just like how pin trading is more than just the pins it's very interactive and you talk to everyone and bond with them based on like common interests this pin is interactive as well with the lanyard moving <laughs> you get down there and find that big diamond or you'll never see that teddy bear again show something with a shiny element gem or light or a teddy bear got a lot of options here but I'm gonna actually do a two-in-one here and I'm gonna pick something with a gem and that shiny so I picked this Tinkerbell November pin and I'm born in November so it's my birthday month when I'm recording this this is before my birthday but by the time I post this it's going to be after my birthday was November 8th if it was on a Tuesday which it is next year I will do a special video but it was on a Monday here's an overview of the pins I chose for the rescuers pin tag that's it for my pin tag. I hope you enjoyed. I love picking pins for these tags just because it gets you to kind of be creative with what you're picking and like explore your collections and it's just a good time. So I'm hoping to do more in the future. And now that I have a second one out, I could finally make a playlist where my pin tag videos can live. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more pin related content from me every Tuesday. And I'm going to tag my new YouTube pin buddy. Since I've been loving you, I absolutely adore her name. You should definitely check her out. She's new to the community, so give her a warm welcome. And if anybody else wants to do this pin tag, I'm tagging you as well. And if you end up doing it, please comment on this video and I'll definitely check it out. And as always, take care of yourselves and have a magical day. Bye.